Imperial Cavalier. You were held up um, on the course. How off putting was that? It seems a little bit staccato when you got back in. How long did it take you to get back into your stride? Um, it wasn't it wasn't all that bad really. It's, it was quite nice to have a little breather. I was already puffing quite a lot at that stage. Um, but actually it was where I find it's quite easy to get distracted because obviously the crowd are very much on your side and they're asking you questions and you know I can't help but have a little chat to them. And then when you set off, I sort of jumped the table, the big table um, with the roof on and you know I could tell I wasn't really on the ball in my mind. I was and I felt I rode the next fence poorly. I mean, luckily, you know, he, we survived. I had to end up going the long way over the D element, but it was very much my fault. And that sort of shook me up. And then we got back in the groove of things. And I mean, he was, where I was absolutely thrilled to bits with him was how strong he felt towards the end. I remember um, two years ago when we should have won and I fell off at that second to last fence, um, which some of you I'm sure will remember. He was very laboured, I remember that year, coming up the booth at Staircase and along the top, he was really one-paced. Whereas today, he was just galloping along, you know, it felt fantastic. And, you know, we, we got quite near the time, despite taking, you know, a, a longer option and, you know, a bit of time at some of the fences. Any questions for Mary? No? All happy? Don't want to ask about a second horse, which she doesn't want to talk about? Why did you but, start the second horse? <laughs> yes, I rode my homebred mare second and um, I had a bad jump at the sunken road fence at the D element. She found the two strides very long and sprawled over the D element. And when I, I galloped on down to the corners and my competitive spirit got the better of me. And really, in hindsight, I should have gone the long way knowing how that was a real bogey fence. A lot of horses didn't read those corners well and having had a mistake at the fence before, but the competitive edge took over. I thought, oh, get on, we'll give it a go. But she didn't really sort of lock onto it at all and she's never had a cross country fault in her life, I don't think, you know, and she just didn't really sort of realize. Anyway, so she ran out. I then went the long way around and I thought, well, no, I'm going to retire now. And there's lots of other good events um, this spring and there's Le Moulin Four Star to aim for or maybe Aachen in the summer. So I thought, you know, rather than run her at badminton and then not come anywhere and then her having to have quite a few weeks to recover, it seemed a bit pointless really. Thank you. Okay, everyone happy? Right, if you'd like to pass them, uh, Willkommen. <laughs>